Yvonne, obviously um, a lot of talk going on on New York Sports Radio about you right now. I, I'm just curious, man, when you hear that noise in the background, uh, you know, how do you deal with it? What do you think of it all? Um, man, let's just keep playing. You know, everybody has an opinion. Everybody, you know, has a uh, critique. And uh, sometimes I like it when they're educated. Sometimes when somebody's trying to help me get better. And, but most of the time, you try not to pay attention to it because it'll have your emotions going up and down. So um, I actually, I was just told about one of the reporters about what happened. And um, I'll probably go look at it later on. But yeah, you know, I appreciate the support from the people who, who do like my game and the people who want to watch me play. And I think the biggest thing is for me to just continue to get better, you know, not have any weeks where, you know, um, I'm not uh, impacting the game as much as I want to. So, yeah, I try to just, you know, stay consistent and uh, focus on what I can control. With that being said, how do you evaluate your game and your growth this season? Uh, I think I'm continuously getting better. You know, carrying the momentum from last year, I have four sacks. So if you're comparing, I'm already doing better and um, I'm having more of an impact. But as a team, you know, um, we won a game. So I'm, I'm happy about that. And now, you know, we're trying to keep that momentum and just continue to get better as a whole. Wink said when it comes to getting better as a whole, he sees you guys playing for each other, becoming more selfless. Yeah. Do you see that uh, among the attitude of the defensive line in each of the units that exist on the defense? Yeah, because we realize, you know, any team that's shooting from behind realizes that it takes all of us you know and no matter if I'm if I got a few sacks or if I don't have you think about last year I didn't have any sacks and we had we won five games you know straight now I got five sacks and we're just now starting to pick up momentum and you know you got to realize that it takes everybody long story short and that you know we're only as, as strong as our weakest link and the things and the things that we kind of feed to each other is, is what's going to grow so just continuing to keep that mindset of one the guy next to you to get better and then you know, letting it, letting it flow during the game. That being said, I heard you talk about greatness. Sometimes that's making the shot. Sometimes that's getting the ball. To yeah. the person. Like, where are you on that and, and yeah. wanting to be great, that desire? Man, you know, and people, you know, I still ask me about the drop uh, pass, you know, before. And it's like, when you, for me, the frustration is when you understand, you know, like Michael Jordan, he made the shots. Kobe Bryant, he made the shots. You know, in the NFL, you can talk about every pass Tom Brady made. And that's that difference between, you know, good and great. And it's like, you can make plays, but sometimes, you know, you, you, the frustration comes from wanting to, to reach that next level. Well, sometimes Jordan passed it to Steve Kerr. He knocked down the shot because he was and, the open and, one. And that's the thing. Sometimes, you know, you got guys, and that's why you have a team. And that's why it's the, the ultimate team sport, because I can only impact it so much. And, you know, I got any other great teammates, which I have, you know, in the D-line and the back end. And even on offense, that are going to make plays. Let's talk about the team this week. You're going up against the Jets. Uh, I, how do you perceive this rivalry game here? Man, you know, first, I'm, I'm going to handle that chessboard request. Yep. But um, <laughs> when you talk about, you know, playing the Jets, I think it's going to be real competitive. It kind of, kind of gives you that old school feel of like a high school rivalry game, something like that. So, um, And they're a great team. they got a great defense. So, you know, we're, we're trying to outplay them. I know they're trying to outplay us. And, um, yeah, we're going to go try to put a, a real competitive game together. Do you guys, do you guys like that part, the defense against the defense? Uh, I mean, you know, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. We love a we love a full team game. Obviously, you know, we want it to be a, a striking match on both ends. We want to play complimentary football. So if you ask me, we want our offense to go out there and score as many points as possible, and you know, keep us off the field. But you know, obviously, when you have um, an opponent that has great. Uh, other individual players, you know, you we have guys that want to kind of match that standard and go show that, you know, we can make plays too. So, um, yeah, it's definitely going to be competitive on both sides of the ball, but uh, I'm excited. Hey, Vaughn, you're going against a running back that's like, he, he could go for that, he could go all, he could go that distance every time he gets a touch. So, what are you seeing in him? Um, we got to stop the run, you know, we, and that's, that's the story in most football, but uh, this game is definitely important and uh, he's a great player. Um, but yeah, we got to stop him.